Welcome to Merritt's Mill Pond in Mariana, Florida. Today we're going to take a look at Gator Hole and Hole in the Rock, also known as Hole in the Wall. This is the public boat launch at Merritt's Mill Pond, one of the only public accesses to the pond during the off season when the Head Spring Jackson Blues Park is closed. Merritt's Mill Pond is a spring hunter's paradise. It has numerous springs and underwater caves throughout the pond. It's actually a reservoir created from the mill that used to be there years ago. Most of the time you can find crystal clear water in the pond. So after a short paddle, I arrive at Gator Hole Spring. This is listed as a fourth magnitude spring, so it has very little flow. So I made it all the way to Gator Hole here, but one major problem, I forgot my mask and I wear contacts. So I'm gonna have to go in this cave blind. I did bring fins and a light at least. Armed with nothing but a dive knife, a paddle, and a flashlight, I was gonna swim into this cave with no mask. Can't see anything below me. This is probably one of the craziest things I've ever done in my life, and I joined the Marine Corps. I couldn't see it at the time because I was filming blind, but you can see numerous guidelines below for the cave divers. There's a huge nexus of caves that go different directions. Also heard what I thought were the sound of rats, but I would later find out they were bats. You can see below how easily the sediment is stirred up in Gator Hole. So here I am deep in this cave, blind underwater, and it's called Gator Hole. A ranger at Mariana Caverns nearby told me a story that when he was a kid there was a nine foot gator in this place. Drop my light. Just kidding. But you can see how dark it gets in there. Make sure to check out part two of Gator Hole. We'll go even deeper in there. Links on the description below. This is a really gnarly but cool experience. Now it's time to quit while I was ahead and get out of the cave. After checking out Gator Hole, it was time to move on up the pond to a place called Hole in the Rock or Hole in the Wall. Like I mentioned, this is a flooded reservoir, so you have to watch out for stumps along the way. This hill grass is a quite common sight at the pond. So I'm going to paddle in the back way to Hole in the Rock. There's a little dive platform they have there. Just on shore you'll find a small little cave. It doesn't go very deep. 
Maybe that's how this place gets its name, Hole in the Rock or Hole in the Wall. Not a whole lot to see here, but it is a cool little rock formation for Florida. So I'm going to head on back down into the water and try to take a look at the actual spring with no mask. I'm just going to have to film blind. Hole in the Rock Spring is listed as a fourth magnitude spring. It doesn't have a whole lot of flow as you can see, so it's easily silted out. It's listed as a fourth magnitude spring. water were both in the 60s the spring water is actually a little bit warmer but obviously uh, I had some hyperthermia setting in I'm definitely gonna have to come back to hole in the rock with a mask make sure to check out part two of gator hole we'll be going deeper One more peek at the spring. Time to head back. I have a long paddle and a long drive to get the kid from school. If you're into cave diving, make sure to check out Cave Adventurers here in Mariana, Florida. They have classes taught by Ed Sorson, a world-renowned cave diver. Make sure to watch part two. Links are in the description below.